What's going on ladies and gentlemen? So before we get to start with the Santa Prism, if you guys could please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and then most importantly comment what you think about the good old Santa Prism, which we are going to be reviewing today. Um, I'm going to show it on my variant as you see here, and right now I'm currently using the Bluetooth Audio Pack by Senna with the 20S. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using them both with the 20S and with the Senna SMH10 as you see I have equipped here on the Icon Alliance. Um, and for those who wanted this is an Icon variant. But uh, before we get into everything, let's go ahead and throw Senna's little cool thing up here and let's get underway with this review guys. Alrighty now, though. welcome back. Now what we're going to do today guys is we're going to grade this thing, this uh, Cine Prism camera. As you guys do know, it's a new action camera coming out um, for Cine. Uh, it has come out. You can do pre-orders at Cine, I believe. Um, it's scheduled to come out here very, very, very soon if it hasn't already launched. Um, I want to go into a lot of things, but uh, overall I'd like to do like a grade system. So we're going to do like some type of grade system for the camera. So um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to do like the quality of the camera. We're going to, like the video, the video quality of the camera, the construction of the camera, and then most importantly, we're going to do the ease of use and is the camera worth it. So that's what we're going to do, and that's what we're going to, I'm going to kind of overall grade the camera on, and uh, on, on top of grading the camera and everything, guys, I want to show you everything that comes in this box. It's by far the biggest box I've gotten from Senna. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> it has a lot of stuff in it, and that's what we're going to go into detail here in a second. So um, that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to grade it. I'm going to show you what it is. I'm going to tell you the specs. I'm going to show you everything that comes in the box. And on top of that, we're going to, yeah, do all that stuff. So without further ado, let's go to that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without wasting a second, I went ahead and opened up the box, as you can clearly tell. And some of you were probably overwhelmed about this time because this is about what my face looked like, uh, or probably what your face looks like now is what my face looked like when I opened the package. I was not expecting this. Um, and when I say this, I mean this amount of stuff. Um, Senna has really included it just an un ridiculous amount of stuff, and which is uh, very, very rare for an action camera company to do something like this to give the actual uh, uh, consumer so many options to mount different places. So we're going to go through these mounts real quick just to give you guys, and just everything's in here, so you guys can get a better view on it. So, for many of the uh, people that don't know what these things in, these things are a lifesaver. They are called tethers. They are just a simple wire type base that you kind of get to the camera. So, if somehow the camera was to fall off a high place, it doesn't go anywhere. So, for it to include that is uh, alone just amazing. So, uh, on top of that, guys, I do have, there is a 40 millimeter water, underwater case that I um, tried to do some construction on to get it to fit on my helmet. We'll go into that later. Um, that's not here because it was a failed experiment, um, but we'll get into that later. So let's go over the mounts. Um, so this one is very similar to Senna's, um, if you see the the uh, the, ha the hex type um, bolts that are on the back that you just loosen and then clamp onto a helmet. Um, this is like their traditional mount. This is kind of how they traditionally mount all of their Senna products as I'll show you here with the SMH10. That's how that SMH-10 is mounted on there. It is by one of those type of hinge mount type things that squeeze into the inside of the helmet. So this is a really reassuring way to mount it onto a, uh, for example, my, my in my business, uh, on a helmet. So I thought it was pretty cool to have this because um, the camera's not going to go anywhere if you got hex bolts squeezing into your damn helmet. So next thing uh, I want to say is also they included an, a sand disk adapter to be able to put it on your computer uh, along with a micro uh, a micro SD card, an 8 gigabyte card, which is again just bizarre because most companies don't include those type things. Um, so you have your traditional like uh, styled mounts, kind of like a 3M uh, styled mounts that you'll have the uh, the adapters go through for a top mount and stuff like that. Um, there is a back, there is a uh, changeable back case to the 40 millimeter case that actually is really cool. Has a opening already so you can charge your your prism you can charge your prism while using it just like this because they included this and it still be um, pretty waterproof uh, not not underwater waterproof if you have this backing on but getting there so uh, another amount I want to include is something for you motocross riders which are freaking going to love I thought this was one of the coolest things that Senate included was this little um, goggle type loop kinda kinda imagine like a belt right now you go the goggle goggle thing goes through this side or it comes through the the back end and goes out the back end right there so 
kind of goes through in through here, out through here, and you can slide it up and down on your goggles, which is freaking remarkable. I still am just, I'm just surprised about the mounts that have been included in this simply because of, you know, usually companies get you to buy their mounts because that's how they kind of make their money. But Senna is no joke, included every mount you could possibly need. Um, another mount here I want to show you guys is the uh, handlebar mount. So, um, for example, a lot of you Harley guys or lowrider guys that have a lot of space on your bars, um, actually, uh, this is this is really good. It's really adjustable um, just with easily twisting something up and down, and you got the camera on there on any type of bar, honestly, that will fit in that space right there, which is, again, amazing for some people that, you know, use bar mounts or want a different camera angle to look at them while they're on their motorcycle or, you know, anything really. Um, another thing you guys will probably notice are these orange things. This is the Senna top mount, um, which mounts the camera onto the top uh, through through uh, these guys right here. And these are little adapter pieces that will actually go onto here and then go onto the bottom of the camera and actually mount onto there. So um, we're going to go through one more uh, one more little mount that they included here. And then I'm going to show you my favorite setup for motovlogging and, of course, got to show you the Senna Prism. Um, so, uh, also the mount right here, this is a double suction mount. As you see, the, the flex ball technology that's going on in, in that guy actually mounts to these two suction cups right here. So you have a double suction cup mount, and that's where these two uh, little leads go to into the uh, sockets of those suction cup mounts. Um, so, uh, without, uh, without hesitating anymore, I want to show you guys the camera, the most important thing of the whole entire package. As you see, the camera is tiny. The camera is just the smallest thing, action camera, I think I've ever seen. Um, you know, literally, it's, I mean, look at the palm of my hand. I have an average-sized hand, actually rather large hand. And the camera is, I mean, in my palm. I mean, I can literally grab the whole thing without a problem. It's not fat. It's just very, very skinny. And uh, I think that's one of the coolest things. Um, it's got a notification LED on the top telling you what mode you're in or or what you're doing really I turned it off to save battery that's just my preference um, but it's really everything is operated by two buttons guys two buttons there's nothing else on this camera that has a button there I mean there's nothing else I mean you have the charging slot and then you have the battery open pack which I think is really convenient um, which is also where the SD card goes um, I'll turn it on for you guys to give you a little look on it real quick simply by holding the top two buttons down I see the notification LED comes on saying it's on you get a beep, and then you have this cool little LCD screen where it's easy to navigate to change your settings to, for example, CinePrism can record in 1080 at 30 frames per second, or 720 at 30, or as my preference, 720 at 60 frames per second, which is remarkable. I love 720 at 60 frames per second. It is my favorite mode to be in simply because I'm on a motorcycle and there's some fast-moving things. So one last thing I want to point out about this, the actual camera here, is that... Now, for a lot of you guys, you probably won't use it, but this guy um, is a top mount. It's where everything goes. It's where you're going to top mount everything. So it's where it's going to go right here. It's where it's going to go right here. It's where it's going to go right here. Now, now a lot of Senna, Senna did this thing to where, yes, it's the top mount thing, but this guy right here is going to go on almost every tripod setup you can find. As you guys, uh, photographers know, tripods kind of go down and then you twist them on that's going to go on almost every single tripod so it's got almost like a tripod tripod adjustment or a tripod um you know capability on the camera already and on top of that the waterproof camera also has that on there so which is really cool it wasn't just you know Senna didn't just make the the waterproof case which i'm going to throw a picture up right here so you guys can kind of look at it um Senna didn't just include the uh you know the the case and close off all the features you know they allowed you to get to the charging slot with the case on. On top of that, they allowed you to be able to mount it anywhere with the, uh, with the camera on. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to show you this last mount that is my preference, my favorite type of mount. Um, and then I'm going to show you my helmet setup on my Icon variant. So what I want to show you guys is this right here. Senna has uh, probably breaking all technology in the 21st century with this ball mount. I know you guys have seen ball mounts before. I mean, it's nothing like crazy new. But for an action camera, I, I think it's relatively new, and if not, the newest thing. So I'm going to take this off here and show you guys how this works real quick. The ball comes out like this, traditional ball mount. You guys have seen a ball mount before. But the thing about the ball mount is it goes in, and the tightening down of it is just ridiculous, okay? So the camera can be tightened down so where this thing is not going to move. 
I've put this thing on my camera and tightened this thing all the way down, and I can't even, if I bump into anything with this, it does not move. Like, it is just relentless that it won't move when uh, when the camera is in there. Um, to show you, give you guys a couple cool example of how this sits in there, the uh, center sits in there like this. You kind of get the top edges on there, and you'll hear the snap there, and it clamps on there, and that thing is not going anywhere, as you guys can clearly see, which, again, is just remarkable. Um, on top of that, guys, I want to also bring up that this camera, without the case, is water resistance. Which, uh, and if you guys have seen another review on the center prism, you've seen that you can ride through the rain with this. Believe it or not, without the case on, you can ride through the rain with this, mud, whatever, but do not submerge it without the 40 mil, uh, the 40 meter, excuse me, 40 meter case. Um, without that, you cannot submerge this camera. However, um, you know, for a rider like me uh, that doesn't like the case, um, and I'll go in more to the case in a second here, folks. But um, for a rider like that, it's amazing. I don't have to have a, a big bulgy, you know, uh, case on the side of my head, which is which is crazy light. And uh, we'll go into that in a second. So uh, let's go ahead and go into my helmet and show you guys how I have it set up on my helmet. And uh, basically uh, talk about the little waterproof case that I do not have on me. But uh, I'm going to go into pros and cons of that thing. So let's go over to that. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? As we get into this last section, last section of the uh, helmet mount on the side of a uh, Icon variant and or any really helmet, uh, I want to tell you guys that this is the mount that I did. Um, the flexibility of mounts um, that you can do on top, the side, anything like that is uh, is crazy. So just because I did this mount does not mean you have to do this mount. So uh, yes, guys. So to get into it, um, I also want to uh, point out that Senna has done something really cool with this camera. And actually, if you go into the modes, there's something called upside down mode where you can actually have the camera upside down um, have it on the left side. The, one of the only flaws with uh, the Senna um, that I have is it is a right side designed helmet. As you can clearly tell, um, it's supposed to be on the right side of the helmet. And I'm not a big uh, right side of the helmet type uh, rider with a camera. I like my stuff on the left side. As you can clearly tell, my other uh, camera mount, the Senna mount. And on top of that, the uh, Senna 20S, as you can clearly tell on the side of the helmet here. Um, so, um, for them putting in the upside down mode has been crazy good. Because now I can actually mount the camera upside down like that. And be able to do whatever I want with it. Simply because it can go into upside down mode. Although, um, it's not crazy important because those video editors do have uh, software to be able to fix that. However, not having to fix that, I can't express to you how... Uh, amazing that it is on the center. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you guys a little center mount here. This is the kind of mount that they have. It's like a square type of locking mount um, that kind of goes with that guy there as you can tell. Um, right now is the right side up mode. This is if I tried to get it on there with the right side up and it just won't go. So what you actually have to do is um, take the camera as you see here and actually take the ball mount while it's loose um, and flip it like that. Exactly like that, you have an upside down camera down. Upside and down mode is actually enabled to go on. Um, and I'll show you actually how it goes on. It's literally as easy as... Boom. It's on. Just like that, guys. The camera is literally on in seconds. I mean, the the craziness of how easy this is is, is remarkable. Um, I, I come from a, a GoPro. And while using the GoPro, I have actually wires that run all inside my helmet an actual wire that runs outside and connects to the GoPro. And uh, with the Senna, it's literally, click, it's literally, oh, I want to go record a video. Okay. Click, done, it's connected to the Senna 20S, I'm done. When I get home, guess what I do? I come home, I push in this part, take this guy, put it on my computer, and we're done. There is no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about what I have to do. The wireless mic setup is just crazy cool. Um, and I really, really like that. Um, and a lot of new motor vloggers um, that are looking out there to get a camera. If you guys want a setup that is just absolutely the easiest thing in the world, and you guys want to get motor vlogging immediately, or you just want to record your, your, you know, your footage out there while you're riding or whatever, I'm telling you guys, Senna, the Senna Prism linked with a Senna 20S or a SMH10, I prefer the 20S, is just amazing. Um, so um, another flaw I want to get into, and this is my last flaw with the camera. Um, uh, is also the case. Um, I'm not a big fan of bulgy type things. Um, I actually like having a case on my cameras just in case, you know, something happens, the camera falls, or, or anything like that. You know, rock comes and hits it, the rare chance. I like having the case on it, and unfortunately the, 
The waterproof housing case uh, does not offer any type of mounting to the side. Um, so I'll show you guys this right here. Um, if you see this mount, it fits specifically for the camera without the uh, without the case on. It's just got a divot there and then a little divot there. So it fits on the side um, without without the uh, without the case, which doesn't allow you to be able to um, you know have that protective case on it. Um, and I tried to work on it and try to get it working, but <laughs> unfortunately it didn't work out for me. So I just don't have the case, which I would it wasn't going to use it anyway. So it wasn't a huge deal for me. Um, so basically what I guys what I do guys is when I record this camera, I have it here hooked onto the side. Make sure the divots are matched up on one side. Then you just press in like that, get the click. And I'll show you guys a little angle of how it looks. Basically like that. It's not too big on the on the helmet, as you can see. It's very very aerodynamical compared to something else that is not aerodynamical. So which is really cool and like I said this ball mount guys is so cool. I mean, just look at the flexibility you can do. I can shoot the stars while I'm riding. I can watch the ground if I'm riding. I can watch the side of my helmet if I want to. And I can watch all the way out here if I really wanted to. The flexibility of this ball mount is remarkable. And I'm telling you right now, this ball mount is the next is the next best thing that's gonna like blow everyone's mind. This ball mount is the is the just the innovation of everything. And I think Senna with in, in, innovating this ball mount into an action camera was absolutely brilliant guys i can't tell you enough so you know um without uh choking you guys up any longer we're gonna go ahead and show you some footage of me using the center prism on my bike um and i want to tell you guys before i recorded this i had the camera actually pointed too far down um so i had the camera actually pointed down like that um i tested it a couple times and i just didn't get it up enough uh, that's what she said yes we know um i didn't get it up enough uh so uh you know Usually you want to go out there and you test it a couple times and you get the right move and you don't move it. You tighten the ball mount all the way and you can take it off and do whatever without having to move the ball mount. But in the video, guys, I do have it slightly down too much. If you just nudge it up a little bit, I would have been fine. However, I just want to show you guys the 720 and 60 frames. On top of that, I want to show you guys the um, kind of how it looks and how, how great it is. And remember, it's wireless. My voice quality is amazing. I really like the voice quality. It's not enough to take out my bike. However, you hear me crystal, 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 crystal clear. So we're going to run that video right about now. What is going on, guys? So we are doing a little uh, test. This is the uh, mic test for the, uh, the center prism and uh, how it connects to the, uh, to the um, center 20S. And this is I'm just riding around the block just so you guys can hear a little... Uh, a little comparison between me um, and my old bike that I used, and um, and Nessie while I'm vlogging. So uh, I will remind some of you guys that uh, are not familiar with my channel that Nessie is um, one of the loudest bikes I've ever been around, and I've been around a lot of loud bikes, uh, and not a lot of bikes top Nessie for her, for her sound. And I'm I'm, I'm manual shifting right now because I don't have my regular riding shoes on so uh, if anyone's wondering that oh, it's a Ford Raptor so this is the 720 60 frames per second this is exactly what I shoot in my uh, with my GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black and um, I can't wait to get back and check out the quality but this is kinda just like a test for you guys and you know I did a quality test while I was in the uh, around the neighborhood just for myself and uh, I, I just can't I can't talk about the audio enough about like the the voice thing. I'm so used to talking very loud. Um, just who I am, I guess. I'm so used to talking so loud that uh, I I have a feeling when you guys review this footage, I'm gonna be too loud simply because I'm so used to talking loud because my mic needs to pick it up. But um, I think with the Cine 20s and uh, the you know any Cine product like the SMH10, the 10R, the fives, any of them, they have such a great miking system that they cancel out so much and it's really great but uh that's what i can't wait to get home and uh, check out for real but uh so you guys are seeing the center prism um i will say also one thing i already noticed by just going maybe 50 miles per hour is the weight difference this is so much different to the gopro um, i'm so used to the gopro and its heavy ways uh, speaking of gopro he's got on the side of his car I'm so used to GoPro and their heavy ways that my head is kind of just adjusted to it. 
And uh, this prism is so light on so many different angles. I mean, it is just so much lighter. Um, and on top of that, it's so much more aerodynamical than the uh, GoPro. As uh, a lot of people joke, you know, the GoPro is a refrigerator on your helmet. And, uh, you know, it, it is originally when you start, but I mean, this thing is, I mean, I don't feel any drag on my left head. I mean, turning or anything, I don't feel drag at all, which is, I, I can't stress it enough. It's remarkable, the difference right now. So, which is nice. I just can't wait to get home and check it out. But uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and bounce it back to the review and uh, go ahead and talk a little bit about this footage because I'll be able to see it then. So I hope you guys enjoy this little clip of the Senna Prism. And again, I want to thank Prism. I want to thank Senna for uh, letting me get this shit going. So here's a little high RPM. That's at about 10K, so, I mean, it's still 10K right now. It's still nothing. Like, it's really loud to me, but I got a feeling you're still going to be able to hear me relatively fine. So, all right, guys, I'll talk to you later. All right, well, folks, to sum it up, I'm going to go ahead and answer the three questions and then answer one more single question for you guys. Also, if you guys have any questions in the comment, just leave it down there, and I'm going to try to respond to everyone. As you see, I left the camera on the side, so you guys can kind of see what it looks like when I'm standing up here. All right, so um, the three questions, the ease of use, the construction of it, like is it is it a good build, and then lastly, the video quality. So we're going to go into the ease of use just briefly. So the ease of use is going to get a good grade simply because of this lovely chart. This chart shows you how to work everything on the camera. It's a chart, people. It's not written. It's literally like pictures, just pictures, the whole thing. So the easy use is amazing. Construction of the camera, it's an amazing type, type, uh, strong plastic type, uh, you know, I can, I can sit here and squeeze it and nothing's going to happen. Um, the, the construction is amazing. And then on top of that, guys, the video quality is amazing. The video quality is what you're looking for in an action camera. You know, an action camera, it what? It captions action. So action is usually fast movement stuff that you need a camera that's going to pick it up in full HD and this is what the prism does it picks up full HD um, at 60 frames per second 720 or 1080 at 30 which is also very good so I gotta give it a uh, definitely out of out of 10 we're gonna go ahead and give it a 9.5 9.5 uh, seems to fit it in there why am I taking out the 0.5 the only reason I'm taking out the 0.5 is one nothing is perfect and two the waterproof case could get a little altering from Senna, or even Senna could make a skeleton case. So, Senna, if you're listening to this, a skeleton case would be great to fit on that on that uh, type of clamp mount to fit on the side of the helmet. Skeleton case would be amazing. If it had the skeleton case, I would go with the 9.8. But because of that, we got to stick at 9.5. Um, and lastly, the biggest question of all: Is it a good action camera? And is it a great camera to start for motor vlogging? Okay, so first of all, the action camera question. It is an amazing action camera. The action camera does what it's supposed to do, and it is it, the quality is there. It is clearly there for a for a company that's just jumping into action cameras. That's remarkable. It it is an amazing amazing start. Um, the next question is, um, is it a good camera to start motor vlogging? Is it a good camera to start motor vlogging? It's a great camera to even be a veteran at, at motor vlogging. You know, this camera is, is not only for starters, it's a camera for everyone, um, for motor vloggers, for anyone that just wants to record anything. Um, it's a great camera. Like, honestly, guys, if you're getting into motor vlogging and you're looking for a camera, wireless, or something that's just easy, the Prism is there. So I definitely recommend you guys go to Senna.com, pick up the Prism, and uh, leave me some feedback down in the comment guys, comments, guys. Make sure you hit like, subscribe. Uh, ask any questions about the center. I will try to answer them down in the uh, in the chat. But other than that, guys, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you didn't enjoy the review, well, I'm sorry, but I still love you, and you guys love me. I also want to thank Santa for giving me the chance to do this, and I hope you guys go pick up the prism, and I'm going to go start using it. Peace out, guys, and thanks for watching.